All right, hi boys and girls. Welcome to your bowling unit. We are here today to introduce you to how to set up the pins and how to start your approach. When you begin bowling, you're going to have 10 pins. Your pins are going to be four in the back, then a row of three, a row of two, and then one towards the front. You want your pins to be about six inches apart. You don't want them super on top of each other like those pins over there. You have that nice triangle shape going. Coach Adams has an actual bowling ball in her hand and she's gonna teach you how to use the proper form. If you are able to go to a bowling alley, you will have the skills to be able to do it there. And then we're gonna show you how to do it using homemade equipment. Okay, so you can see from this ball, it has three holes in it. If you're in a bowling alley, like Coach just said, that's the kind of ball that you'll find there. So what you want to do is this one by itself is for your thumb, okay? And these two are here for your middle finger and your ring finger. So when you go to hold the ball, your pointer and your pinky are out, okay? You're going to hold the ball in your dominant hand. I'm going to take about 10 steps, just walking steps back. And that's where I'm going to start what we call an approach. If you don't have a bowling ball that has holes in it, like this one, that's fine. You're just going to hold it with your palm underneath when you go to release. Okay? So here is how we're going to do our approach. It's a three-step approach. I am right-handed. The ball is in my dominant hand, my right hand. So I'm going to start with my left foot. I'm going to go one, two, three. On my third step, I'm now in opposition. The ball is going to be back, which I'll show you in a second. I'm going to be releasing with my op opposite foot in front. When you go to release the ball, we are rolling it on the ground. So I need to bend my knees and get down. As I release the ball, I want my ball through straight at the pins ahead. Okay, so here's my three steps. One, two, three. As I'm hitting my third, I'm bringing the ball back a little bit past my knee. And then I'm going to come through and follow through. All right, so here we go. Step one, two, three. I bend, I follow. Oh. Excellent. Okay, nice job. All right, so I got nine pins down. In bowling, you get two rolls for every turn. So I'm going to clear these out of the way. Okay, I'm going to grab my ball, and I'm going to take my second turn and try to knock that one down. So now I want my ball to try to be right at that pin. All right, take my three steps. One, two, three. I bend, roll. Oh, very nice. Okay, so that would be what we call a spare, which we'll be going into a little bit more. If you get all 10 pins knocked down on one roll, that's called a spare. I'm sorry, it's called a strike, excuse me. And if you get all the pins knocked down on two, that is a spare. Okay, we'll be going into scoring um, in one of our next lessons, okay? So you're gonna work on your three-step approach. If you are left-handed, you're just doing the opposite. You're stepping right, left, right, and you are releasing that way. If your ball is bouncing, that means you're not getting down low enough. So you guys are gonna go ahead, you're gonna set your pins up, you're gonna get your ball, and you're just gonna practice. Okay, one roll, clear the pins, bring it back, do your second roll. Okay, you're gonna do that over and over and over again. Alrighty, great job, let's get bowling. Thank you, Coach Morelli. Bye guys, good luck.